All right then, gang, so that is pretty much it. We have completed our project using Node and Express and MongoDB. Now, there are just two very, very small things I want to do to finish this off. The first one is to replace this delete thing right here with a trash can icon. So I got this trash can icon from Material Icons. You can download it from the Material Icons website or you can go to my GitHub repository and find it there. Remember the link to that is down below. But I'm basically just going to drag this into my public folder. Remember everything in the public folder is accessible from the front end. So it's an SVG right here. We just need to then reference this from our details view over here. So instead of this, we can have an image now. So let me get rid of that and then right here I'm going to say I want an image tag then it's forward slash and it's called trash can dot svg and then the alt is just delete icon all right so if I save this now and refresh over here that looks a bit better okay and it still works if we click on it it still deletes it awesome so the second thing I want to do is I want to address the 404 case for this route right here. So at the minute, if we type something in here, which is some kind of ID that doesn't actually exist, then it's just kind of hanging and we don't go to a 404 page. And that's because if we go to our controller file over here where we try to get the blog details, we try to find that ID. If there's an error, all we're doing is logging that error to the console. So instead of this, what I'd like to do is return the 404 page. So let me paste this in response.render. We're rendering the 404 right here, this view, and we're passing in the title property, remember, because we output the title in the head, and that is blog not found. We can also set the status right here to be 404 if you wish, like so. And now if we try to render something like this and press enter, then it will try to find the blog with that ID, but it won't find it. And therefore we redirect to this 404 page, which I would implore you to design better than this because currently this looks really pants. But you know, this is not a design course. This is a Node Express Mongo course. And hopefully my friends, you have learned a fair amount during this journey and you're in a good position now to go on and start to learn some more advanced things. Now you could extend this project further if you wanted to. You could maybe add another resource like categories so that you can filter blogs by category. Uh, you could add an author property to the blog model and show that as well. You could maybe show the date at which a blog was created on the front end. There is loads more you could do with it. And like I alluded to in the very first lesson of this course, I will be doing more advanced future courses on Node pretty soon too. So that might include Node with Firebase Admin. Uh, some kind of authentication flow with Node.js, making payments with Stripe using Node, and also I'll probably do a full stack tutorial using either React or Vue on the front end as well. So then my friends, I really, really hope you've enjoyed this series. And if you have enjoyed it, please don't forget to share, subscribe and like. That really means a lot and it helps out an enormous amount. And if you do want to join the cause and support the channel, you can do by clicking the join button on the channel homepage or underneath the video or right down below. You also get a little cool ninja badge next to your name in the comments for that. And it's 99 pence or cents per month. And I've also created several premium in-depth courses on Udemy. So the first one is Modern JavaScript. The second one is D3 and Firebase. And the third one is Vue.js and Firebase. So if you want to take one of those, all the links with the discounts automatically applied to them are going to be in the video description down below. So again, thanks so much for watching and I'm going to see you in the very next course.